Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a subject that is, I suppose, fairly central to the premise of a lot of people's uh, opinions of what this channel is here for. In the last meme video I did, I, uh, I made a mistake. I used the definition of Thaumiel to explain what a polyon was. Um, I was a little tired, but you know, you make mistakes when you're tired. And <laughs> it got me thinking, I edited it out uh, after the fact, because you can clip things out of YouTube videos. You can't really do a lot of fine tune editing, but you can take a chunk out, uh, which is what I did. I actually took that section out, uh, but people were rightfully correcting me almost immediately in the comments about it. <laughs> But it came to me, and I've been watching some videos about other topics lately about, uh, I think it was Ben Shapiro and his quote-unquote rise and fall. Um, and I realized that there is a problem, and I'm wondering if, at least in the SCP community, if I'm not contributing to this problem. And that is the idea that it is not okay to be wrong. That somehow being wrong is always the worst thing that can happen to you and that you must be right at all times. I, I feel like a lot of people in the way they approach, um, they approach content is that there has to be an absolute right answer to everything, uh, which is interesting because in the SCP foundation, that's simply not true. Period. Anytime you have a like six, eight, two, the video I did la on Tuesday, if you think about it, I did a video that says, you know, Superman can beat 682, but there are versions of 682 on the SCP wiki where he turns himself into a spaceship and chase is chasing after Earth. Um, <laughs> so the abilities of what what SCP-682 can do uh, range from just a slightly annoying lizard to godlike power. And if you talk about SCP-682 in any kind of definitive form, people will come up and be like, well, he's the most power. He's one of the most powerful things in the universe. He's he's one of the Scarlet King's children. Like, OK, there's a story where that's true, but I, I've, I've, it's not a story that I uh, hold to be true in my interpretation of the character. So you make that correction and then people will defend their opinion, which it is. Well, it's not really opinion. It's complicated. But there's a sense, of course, that being wrong, they have to be right. They can't be wrong. I do the you're wrong about titles on my videos, or I, I did. I've actually stopped making the videos for partially this reason. Um, we could talk a little bit about the exacts of why, and I might actually get back into it. Uh, now that I've had some time to give it some serious consideration. But... I feel like I'm contributing to a problem, especially among SCP uh, fans, and perhaps uh, considering that, I mean, I uh, my viewership does not necessarily skew particularly young, but I'm sure that uh, it's YouTube. There's a lot of young people on here. And I feed into that with the You're Wrong About series. People watch it because they want to see what uh, other people are wrong about it's creating a straw man almost of an argument and then debunking it and then trying to take on trying to grab clout and uh, influence and popularity by dunking on this random person who has this in my opinion wrong viewpoint of an SCP topic plus also I kind of ran out of stuff to really uh, easy stuff to point out that people were getting wrong a lot. And while it is true that some people hold those beliefs, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I use the word wrong so much in this video that uh, it may end up uh, losing all meaning. And so I, I, you know, I stepped back from making those kinds of videos and started to think to myself, okay, how can I approach wrongness on the SCP wiki because, I mean, like, my whole point is I'm an author on the wiki. I've, ri I've written somewhere between 110 and 120 articles. The exact number escapes me. But 
and when I say articles, I'm including tales as well as a few GOI documents and other stuff like that. A lot of the people, when they say articles, mean just SCP articles, specifically numbered articles. Um, but yeah, so I've written a lot for the SCP Wiki. Last I'd looked, maybe it's not true anymore, but last I'd looked, I'm one of the top 10 authors on the SCP Wiki. I have a lot of knowledge about the SCP Wiki, and some of it is because I've posted a lot of what is on the SCP Wiki to the SCP Wiki. It's not a, I don't even think it's above 1%, it's more like 0.3%, but that's still a lot considering the sheer volume of stuff that there is. It might actually be lower now, but SCP Wiki is, is expanding quite quickly. I do, I love those asides, you know, they're great. Um, <laughs> I'm on a path and then I get off the path. My thing is that despite all of that, and despite my own viewpoints of particularly popular SCPs, especially Series 1 stuff, I'm not the be-all, end-all of, you know, correctness. I'm wrong sometimes, too. Sometimes it's just a mistake, and it's not like I didn't know better. I just, you know, got my brain... A couple of wires get crossed and I say the wrong thing or uh, I hear a word and I, I forget that it means this thing when it's supposed to mean that thing those are basic mistakes but it's okay also to have opinions that are incorrect as long as you're willing this is important as long as you're willing to like actually internalize when someone corrects you that's the important part not not being right all the time it's how you handle being corrected and we uh we, we we we've fed into this over and over and over again as a culture and the scp foundation is one of the worst for this where we just you've got to be right anyone who's wrong is 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 a failure of some kind and people tie up so much of their self-worth in this it's okay to be wrong sometimes. In fact, that's how we learn. Everything you've ever learned in your life has come from uh, being wrong about something in the first place. Or it's it's compli more, a little bit more complicated than that. Sometimes you learn a new thing that you didn't have any knowledge of before. But in general, you're wrong about a thing before you're right about a thing. That's just how it works. And I don't know. I, I think I'm going to continue to make those kinds of videos. But at the same time... I want to be a little bit more cognizant of it. Plus, I, I really dislike the whole... Um, I don't... I really actually quite enjoy the memory around you're wrong. I don't enjoy the memory about... the, the And it's, it's much less frequent, but does come up, and it annoys me a little bit. This idea that I'm always right. Because I'm, first of all, not. And second of all, it's just... That's a dangerous way to look at things. You can point out other people are wrong all the time without yourself being right. And you don't deserve more clout, like, an influence just because you're able to dunk on... I, I, maybe, that's what I really need to do. It's like, if I'm going to correct people, I need to take a step back and make sure I'm not dunking on somebody for being wrong. And just correct them. Give proper information. The real thing is, is that, like, it's, pres it's presentation... When I do the whole, you're, you know, you're wrong, I can't believe how wrong you are, and I do get frustrated sometimes. It, it, it comes out, and that's, I think, something that people have actually quite enjoyed uh, in the past, especially when I do say, like, a harsh critique. I let myself be as angry as I actually am. <laughs> um, but I think that beyond the presentation of it, maybe this video is itself enough, Beyond the presentation, I mean, I should maybe I should pull back just a little bit on the whole uh, "you're wrong and you're stupid for being wrong" thing. I don't know. I like to keep a balanced uh, approach to topics on the SCP Wiki, but I am certain if you go through my videos, and there are dozens and dozens of "you're wrong about" videos, and I'm sure if you go through it, all of them, you'll find at least. One or two instances where I'm being unreasonably uh, smug about being correct. And and that's just not fun for anybody. Anyway, I just had this idea in my head. I made a mistake and then I was like, oh, I should correct that. And I did correct it. That's important too. correct your mistakes. But it's OK to make them, too. But then I was thinking about like 
how much of my popularity has come from dunking on straw man arguments and or opinions. Ugh. It is presentation, but at the same time, it's, it's just something I want to keep an eye on and keep a, keep in mind. But if you take nothing else away from this, take this away. And I've said it once already. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Did you know, and this is interesting to me, and I'm going to say it and people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't... This is my job. This is what I do. Did you know that two months ago... I had almost uh, $400 in Patreon backers. $400. And this month, I have, and I know it's summer. I know people are maybe probably having some trouble, and, and that's fine. If you can't donate, don't. I don't want people to be donating who can't afford to donate. But this month, I'm down to 170 I was actually down to 150 until somebody else added another 20 That is troubling from a channel growth and health standpoint. <laughs> and I would very much like to see that reversed. I still have my advertising revenue and I'm gonna get by. I have uh, some sponsorships coming up and a couple other things. I'm, I'm gonna get by, but it's, it, well, yeah. It's a problem. If, if, if the trend continues downwards, it's a serious problem, which is why I thought I'd bring it up. If you can donate to the Patreon, please do so. And uh, hit the subscribe button. As always, someone else, someone else left a comment on my other video. It was like, I can't believe the way you said, how dare you not be uh, subscribed is desperate. And that's just going to make me unsubscribe. Actually, I think their exact words were, I would unsubscribe, uh, but I'm too lazy to, which is just great. I mean, anyway, uh, I, I, t I listen to these things and they still affect me. I don't really care, though. Like, this is the job. The job is I ask for money, like a fucking politician, and I ask people to subscribe. So please, do so. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.